What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah, we're still playing Pokemon Emerald. Holy crap. Mine must have skipped. So, yes, finally, we're done with the side quest. Now we're going east. We're finally going east. I'm just playing. We have to go somewhere else. I'm just playing. We're going to go east right here, and, uh, yeah, it is finally time, guys, to do what we should have done a while back, and that's go east and uh, explore the world just a little bit more. As you can see, there are more people in Widgel. Look at that. Our good old buddy's right there. But before we do anything, let's go to this guy. He's like, hmm, a good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Heck yes. Hmm. You're of identical mind, Or we're of identical minds. Hmm. Take this good rod. So as you can see, we got ourselves another Poke Rod, another good rod right here. And this will actually help us uh, fish for better Pokemon, better water type Pokemon. And if you go right here, find yourself an iron. And uh, you're going to be battling a bunch of trainers. So let's start off with these guys first. We all know uh, our good old buddies, uh, whatchamacallits and whatchamacallits. Uh, what Pokemon do they have? Uh, you know what? Let's go, with this, let's go with the team right here. Oh, you're Draven. Hi, do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how much stronger you've gotten, you become? Okay, Q interview! Alrighty, okay, let's do this, let's go. So in our second battle against uh, interviewer Gabby and Ty, they would, they come out with the same, kind of the same Pokemon. One Pokemon's actually evolved, the other, you know, has gotten a little stronger, but here we have my good old Pokemon right here, Swamp Lord and Shroom Lee. Ready to kick some butt, and uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we do? Let's go with Secret Power on this guy, and let's go with. Uh, nope. Let's go with the Mock Punch on this guy right here. So here we go. Mock Punch. Finish him off. Finish him. That's right. No more Loudred. Oh, yes. Loudred defeated. And uh, Shroom Lee grows to level 35. And uh, here goes the Secret Power, and I think that was Mud Shot. Huh. No, uh, well, I think that was Matt Mudshot. I don't even know. But thankfully it missed, so let's go with the takedown and let's go with that mock punch. And say goodbye to Magnemite. Oh, yes. Magnemite defeated. Oh, yes. And uh, that's pretty much it right there. It's like, that was an intense battle. Did you get all of that on camera? Heck yes, I did. Alrighty. She's like, this is it. Remember? That was the quote you gave us uh, as the battle clincher last time. I never, ever forget that stuff like that. The last time we battled you, you stomped us before we could even brace ourselves. Anyway, would you, uh, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed by again? I guess. Okay, so. Describe this battle for us, short and sweet, yet again. Let's see. Uh, let's go with endings. Let's see, it belongs to better. Um, give me, I don't know, likely to, maybe, I don't even know, guys. You know what, let's go, I just, I just found the one that I, I liked. Let's go with, let's go with this one, better. It was better than before. Hmm, clincher, that's, that's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that you, they'll air this on TV, so make sure to look out for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Well, that was the perfect clincher. I feel good about that. Uh, it was a better battle, I guess. I don't even know. But let's go to Raiden. Let's go to important stuff like battling everybody else right here. So here we go. Another Pokemon trainer. I'm a fisherman, but also a trainer. I'm raising a. Po I'm raising the Pokemon I caught. So let's go. Let's get this. What do you want? Fisherman Barney wants to come out, and he's gonna come out with his tentacle. I picked correctly. Heck yes. Alrighty, finally. Time for uh, Raiden to just shine right here. The Thunder God Dog destroys everybody. There we go. Thunder God. And we're going to come out with a Carvana right here. Okay. Alright, I see you. I see what you're doing right there. So let's go. Let's go with the Shockwave right here. Where is the Shockwave? Shockwave destroys this Carvana. Whom I found out that evolves into a Sharpedo a while back. It's kind of crazy. It really is. That is right. So we defeated this guy. I feel good. And uh, let's see. Let's see. They hitting items right there. Nothing. So now if we go up north right here, would you look at that? Our good old buddy Steven's right there. He's like, hi, Draven. It's me, Steven. We met in the cave near Duford. 
Have you met many kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? There are many, many kinds of Pokemon in this uh, wide world of ours. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. As a trainer of Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, it's not only of uh, any of my business. It would be nice if we were to meet again somewhere. Okay, that's pretty odd. But if you guys are playing Pokemon Auras, this is where the legendary Pokemon event happens, where, you know, Latios or Latias come out and, you know, take it to some Mirage place. But it's not. It's Pokemon Emerald. We get what we get. And uh, I don't want to battle any of the Pokemon right here. They're a little stronger, so I'm just going to put on a Repel. And uh, I'm going to start battling whoever I want. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, flying guys. So as you can see, Route 118 or Route 119, we're going to start off right here. And then within the next episode, we're just you know going to work our way right here. Take flight, my bird Pokemon. All right, bring it. Just bring it. Alrighty. So here we go. Bird Keeper Chester wants to come out, and he's going to come out with his Taylo. So I'm going to go with Raiden the Thunder God. Let's go. Spark attack. Look at that. No more Taylo. A lot of bird trainers right here. Lots and lots of bird trainers. And uh, he's going to come out with his Swellow. So this is uh, probably not the first or second time. I don't know. But Swellow's just a little stronger right here. And a little quicker. But here we go. Spark attack. That's right. No more Swellow. How do you feel about that? Doesn't feel so good, huh? Skyblade kicking butt, Chester doing his thing, and yes, he did take flight. They all took flight. And uh, before we go battle that guy, we're gonna go straight right here and uh, grab these uh, grab these berries right here, cause you know, berry berry hunting is nice. And uh, let's see, let's grab that. So we have uh, four citrus berries. That's good. That's always good. And uh, this thing I have never seen before. Looks interesting. Okay, so moving on forward right here, um, there's a Pokeball, and we found ourselves a Hyper Potion, pretty good stuff, and uh, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Bird Pokemon that fly elegantly in the sky, they're the best. Alrighty, okay, let's do this. So here we go, Bird Keeper Perry wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Wingle, and I'm going to come out with Raiden the Thunder God. Thunder God going with a Spark Attack. Alrighty, there we go, and no more Wingle, and uh, that's it, wow, that was a rather uninteresting, and yes, you crashed, you crashed badly, buddy, okay, so moving on forward right here, now if you go a little further, you're at Route 123, you're gonna, you're gonna find just a few th uh, different things, um, more trainers, and uh, more berries, I should say, let's see, who hasn't battled yet, you know what, let's go to Skyblade, I kind of want to get him to level 30 right here, and that's right, Pendulum, that's right, and here we go. My confidence will get a boost by beating someone obviously strong, and this kid right here is like, this is my awesome bug Pokemon, my big brother gig got up for me. Okay, bring it on. Let's do this, okay, so here we go, Cool Trainer Jasmine and Bug Catcher Davis wants to battle, and they're coming out with some pretty powerful Pokemon. Would you look at that, Napsol? That is a cool Pokemon. That is a very cool Pokemon. Too bad I have to defeat it. Spark Attack, Air Cutter, and it and it hits both. That's pretty cool. And uh, that Spark Attack does some damage. There goes that Air Cutter. Almost finishes off that Absol, and nothing to the the pincer right here. And uh, well, well, we're giving him a chance to attack right here, which is annoying. First time I've ever seen a pincer here. So let's go with the shockwave. Actually, scratch that. Let's go with shockwave right here. And air cutter for both. And somebody just used the hyper potion. Not cool, man. I wanted to beat you. Okay, here we go. Shockwave attack. There we go. Nearly defeats that Absol. And come on. Air cutter critical hit. Nearly beats him again. Come on, man. And the revenge attack. Oh god. Okay, so let's go with return. Let's go with air cutter yet again. That's right. Feel the burn. Bye bye, Absol. That's right. No more Absol right here. And uh, here we go with an air cutter. You're all alone, Pincer. 
Ooh. And uh, another revenge. And this is gonna... Oh, it's... I was about to say, it's gonna hurt. So here we go again, finishing this guy off with the return attack. That's right. Very powerful attack. How's that feel? Not so good. And look at that. Skyblade finally grows to level 30. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy about that. And there goes my confidence. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Alright, so that's a good brother for giving you a pincer. That's a pretty rare and powerful Pokemon right there. Alright, let's grab this. And we found ourselves another Ultra Ball. That's good. Now, if we go up here, there is a trainer. And uh, let's go ahead and switch him out. Actually, hold on, hold on. I got just a Pokemon for this. That's right. Our good old buddy Raphael. He needs battling. And uh, let's see. What do we do next? Ah, Super Potion. Let's go with that. And... Well, we're, let's, let's just heal our Pokemon. More healing. More healing. That's right. Okay. Alrighty. She wants to battle us. They say good times are filled with good aromas! Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Aroma Lady Violet. She comes out with a Roselia, and I got the Pokemon for you. That's right. Raphael. The Tortoise Pokemon. Going with this flamethrower and uh, nearly get, getting paralyzed. Now that's one of the things about, you know, Raphael. Slow as hell. But a very powerful Pokemon. It's actually proven to be a very useful Pokemon for me. I still can't believe I haven't used this Pokemon at all. And she's going to come out with a Gloom, so I'm going to stick with Raphael right here. And let's go. No poison. You cannot poison me because I am Raphael the Tortoise. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. That did not feel good for that Gloom. That Gloom is just feeling bad. Hence the name Gloom. Uh-huh. Alrighty, okay, so we defeated you, and uh, that is pretty much it right there. Now, as you can see, you see an abundance of berries. I'm going to grab them all. That's a buttload of berries. Buttload of berries right here, and no, I do not want to do that. Now, if you're if you're playing Pokemon Auras, try triple the amount of berries right here. I'm not joking. Try triple the amount. It, it, it's quite surprising, and... Uh, Okay, grab that. Now let's grab this guy. That's right. Home egg berries. Pretty good stuff. Now we're getting Greppa berries. And I'm pretty sure that these are just like ingredients for like Pokeblocks or something. Let's grab that. that. Greppa berries. Hello, hello. And uh, let's see. Grabbing that. Again, it's going to take quite a while to grab these guys. Alright. More drip of berries. That's right. And uh, let's see, what else? Town two koala berries. And we grab the koala berries. Good job, good job. And what else? More koala berries because koala is a fun, fun thing to say. And uh, here we go, another koala berry. Hello, koala. How you doing? I should name my Pokemon koala. Should find a Pokemon named koala. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, so the effect of the repel is worn off. Now let's go right here. This is the Berry Master's house. So let's go right in and talk to the Berry Master. This guy's like, you may call me the Berry Master. I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. And here we have the Rabuta Berry. The Rabuta Berry. Why be so stingy? Take another. We take a Kelpsy Berry. That's good. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Be sure to visit the Pretty Petals uh, flower shop near Rustboro. Let the flowers fill the world. Okay. Haven't done that yet. The way my husband grows berries, oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me so proud. Yes, he does. Incidentally, child, have you heard of a good saying as of lately? Mm, yeah. I've heard of a good saying. Here we go. Breloom. Uh, let's see. Voices. Breloom. Or Bar... Wait, what the hell? Barboach. I meant Breloom. And, uh, not that. Let's go... Here we go. Breloom. Chlorophyll. That's right. Ah, a good saying it is. You're quite remarkable. I want you to have this. 
We get an S pure berry. Now, I don't know if, like, depending on what you say, I I really don't know. Like, depending on what you say it depends on what kind of berry you get. Really don't know. So if you guys know, comment down below. That would be great. Because I, I, I don't pay attention to all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and not do that. I didn't want to do that. Let's go... Let's go with Swamp Lord right here. Okay. Talk to these girls. And Mew is like, Hello, trainer. I hope your Pokemon won't cry when they lose. Okay. Bring it on. So here we go. Twins Mew and Yuki coming out with Beautify and Dust Tox. Hmm. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Alrighty, so let's go with a flamethrower and let's take care of him with a surf. That's right, two in one time. Aw, oh, nearly defeats Beautifly and destroys Dust Tox with a critical hit. Hell yeah. Alright, Skyblade, you're growing and there's that gust attack that won't affect me as much, but here we go with a flamethrower. Flamethrower attack victorious. It does it. Alrighty. Alrighty. And, uh, well, that's a uh, victory for us right there, I guess. Hmm. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this area right here. And I guess we should be moving on to the next thing, I guess. I don't even know. And, yes, we didn't get attacked by any of the Pokemon. So now, the next place to go to is right here in Route 119. If you talk to this guy, he's like, Tch. it's a no-go. The tall grass snares bike tires. There's no no way you can cycle here, which is true. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be using a Super Rappel because there are Pokemon in here that will attack you. And, uh, yeah. Now, if you go right here, this is the Mimic Circle. You will be seeing some Pokemon trainers that will try and mimic you. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It, it, it will get quite frustrating. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to battle everybody here. And then take our paws eventually. So here we go. Bug Catcher Kent coming out with his Ninjask. Of course, it will be faster than that, so I hate that. Oh, God. Okay. Let's go. Flamethrower. Crud. Facing a Pokemon like Ninjask. We'll, we'll, we'll get you like this. So here we go. Flamethrower. For the win. Look at that. Again, I am so glad that I have Raphael on my team. And, uh... Alrighty, so that was an easy battle right there. Alright, let's move on forward right here though. There's another Pokemon trainer here. Talk to this guy. And he's like, so we finally meet. My bug Pokemon will keep you company. Hmm. I don't want to be kept company, but here we go. Bug Maniac Donald. And he's coming out with his Wurmple, level 24. Why would you not evolve this Pokemon? Why? Okay, so here's the flamethrower. Suck on those flames right there. Wurmple defeated. Fatality. Skyblade growing and uh, oh, he's got three Pokemon. Okay, never mind. Sorry for critiquing you for something that I, uh, you know, whatever. So there we go. Flamethrower for the win. Ah yes. You gotta love this. You gotta love it. That's right. Skyblade kicking butt. Bug Maniac. About to come out with a Beautifly, and I will come out with nothing else with a Raphael. And uh, yeah, the Gust Attack will not do anything. You did nothing. Nothing. You did nothing. And uh, there we go. Bye bye, Beautifly. Alrighty. And look at that. Level 34. Or 31, I should say. Wow, what, what, what was I looking at? He's like, I wish we never met. Yeah, right. Okay, so let's move on right here. There's a Pokeball. Grab that, and it's a Super Repel. And let's go ahead and battle this guy. You don't know who I am, do, do you? But I also don't know you, so we will battle. Alrighty. Bring it on. Bug Catcher Greg comes out with Volby. And uh, here we go with the Raphael. Hmm. I haven't caught a Rafa or I haven't caught a bug or a Volbeat yet. Incidentally, have you guys ever heard of the band uh, Volbeat? Pretty good, pretty good band. One of my favorite bands. And uh, look at that. Skyblade grows to level 31. Not the weakest Pokemon in the world anymore. 
And here comes an Illumiz, or Illumise. Illumise, that's right. And uh, there's that wish attack. Okay. Flamethrower attack, right here. Oh yeah. Bye bye. No more, no more, uh, whatchamacallit, Illumise right there. So we defeated Greg. It's like, you're pretty strong. Yes, I am. Yes, sir, I am. Okay, so let's see. That's one section. Now, we got like, what, three, three, yeah, three trainers right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, Hyper Potion, and then battle everybody else because why not? So let's go ahead and battle these guys. Talk to this guy. We're the Mimic Circle. We mimic what you do. Okay. All righty. Bring it. So here we have Brett, and he's coming out with his Surf Kick. So this could prove problematic right here because Surf Kick is a water type Pokemon. So here we go, Body Slam. Body Slam attack. And there we go. No more Surf Kick. Eh, well, we're winning, I guess. Whoopsie, I lost. Yes, you did, you lost. And uh, that's the end of that guy. So let's go ahead and take on this guy. And this guy is like, if you if you step forward, we step forward. If you turn right, we turn two. Alrighty. Bring it on. So here we go, Buckcatcher Taylor coming out with his Wurmple. Seriously, dude, why would you not evolve your Wurmple? I want to know that. Alright, let's go with the Body Slam. go and uh, well I didn't defeat that Wurmple but here we go another body slam I'm trying to preserve those flamethrowers alrighty and then here comes out with a cascoon okay so let's go let's go let, let's bring cascoon into the mix right here here we go flamethrower attack oh yes feel the burn the big burn that's right and uh, Skyblade, nothing. And here he comes out with a Dust Tox. Alrighty, let's do this. Flamethrower attack, and no more Dust Tox, right? Definitely the Dust Tox, uh, or definitely the Raphael show right here, featuring Raphael the Tortoise. And uh, there we go, no more Taylor. And uh, okay, let's move on. Who's next? This guy. Yep, you finally caught me, or were you trying to avoid me? I was trying to catch you, buddy. I wasn't trying to avoid anybody. I, I avoid no challenge. So there we go. Bugcatcher Doug comes out with his Ninkata. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so let's see what we can do right here. Flamethrower attack. Just destroying everybody. Oh, yeah. That's right. Say goodbye to Ninkata. No Ninkata right there. And, uh... He's coming out with a ninja, so I already know what that that's all about right there. All right, ninja, ask, bring it, just bring it. And there's that fury cutter that doesn't really work right now, but eventually will. And here we go, flamethrower. For the win. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. And everybody's going almost, I guess. I don't know. Whoop. That was a great match. It really was. Not. Okay. So we're done with this guy, we're done with everybody here, and uh, let's see. I guess that's pretty much it for this area right here, guys. I will be exploring a little bit more in the next episode, so stay tuned, catch everything else within the next episode, and yeah, we'll have a little bit of fun. So thank you guys for watching, I'll be back in, for another episode of Pokemon Emerald. See you guys.